Hello everyone, today I'm gonna bring you guys along for a fun and relaxing day at Epcot here at Walt Disney World. We're also gonna take a look at the new prism pylons that are coming up in front of Spaceship Earth. There are still construction walls up, but we can get a good look at what's going on over there. Got your magic bands ready? Good, let's go. There's my first look at them. We're pretty far away. Let's see if we can get closer. These crystal or lucite pylons called the prism pylons or prismatic pylons may look small compared to Spaceship Earth. But once these construction walls come down, you'll see how very tall they are. They're actually a recreation of the pylons that were there on the opening day of Epcot, October 1st, 1982. So they're bringing back a little bit of that retro opening day Epcot feel. Walking in through the entranceway, you can get a better idea of what they're going to look like when the walls come down and everything is built up around them. I can't wait until these walls come down and we can see them in all their glory, lit up, prismatic, and glorious. Oh, I could stand here for a long time looking at them, but let's get into our park day. Since those pylons have got me in the mood to thinking about opening day here at Epcot, there are actually only a very few opening day attractions left here, and one of them is Spaceship Earth. I pretty much always start my day with Spaceship Earth anyway, but you know, any extra reason to time travel back to the future, yeah, you know what I mean. I'll take. With your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. I've got these like spaced out dividers in front of me. Oh, almost picture time. There's no one behind me for at least five ride vehicles. of Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2020 is still going on and that'll be going on into the fall. I don't believe we have an exact end date yet and it's just a sort of modified version of food and wine with some still really fun and good options. I know this feeling where it is oppressively hot about 100 degrees yet really really windy with dark clouds rolling in a storm is a brewing thankfully i have an umbrella i am prepared and i'm prepared mentally with ideas of indoor spaces we can go to to hide out the rain a little bit if it starts to come down let's see if my florida weather senses are correct. I made my way from the front entrance and turned right in the direction of Canada and the UK. This is the way I tend to go nowadays, but like I've discussed before, there's no right or wrong when it comes to which way you go when you enter the World Showcase. The beautiful and air-conditioned World Showplace. They've got food, drinks, and live entertainment inside of here, and it's a great escape from the hot, hot sun. No rain yet, but that's no excuse to not enjoy the World Showplace Pavilion. I love that they're using this building. This is probably my favorite part of this modified festival. Just an indoor, air-conditioned, large, open space with plenty of hand sanitizer, plenty of space, large, high ceilings, and just beautiful decor. And of course, food and drink is in here. And Epcot through the years. I wonder how many of you recognize some of them. I do. And the first one was Magic Journeys from oh, Fantasyland. I missed that one. Oh. Carol is playing piano here in the World Showplace Pavilion. As soon as I heard her play, I knew it was her. I love that she's in here. They've got a charcuterie plate here at Apple Seed Orchard. And that's right, apparently I've been pronouncing that wrong for years. I got an email from someone who let me know that it's 
charcuterie, not charcuterie, as I have incorrectly been saying. So I apologize for saying it wrong. I love cheese and meat boards, and I will try to remember to say charcuterie. I'm making memories by getting some spanakopita. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but these are like spinach filled pastries, spinach and cheese, and they're always delicious. Oh, I love this song. I also got the Cider Boys Banana Bliss Hard Cider because I had that on my last visit and it was so delicious and refreshing. And on this hot day, I feel like this is a nice treat. And I also feel like Carol must have seen the shirt I was wearing today. Listen to what she's playing. I am convinced she's playing this just for us. Taste of Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Thank you. Thank you. She's the best. Uh, she used to play, normally plays in Rose and Crown here in the UK Pavilion, and she's so good. Like I remember once on my birthday, she like she like ask you what your name is and like one fact about you and make up a whole rhyming song about you. Like she's so talented and amazing, and she knows all the Epcot classics. And you can tell her love for Disney and for what she does just shines through whenever she performs. I love that she's in here. So anyway, here's this banana cider. Mm, just a very light banana taste. It's not like super heavy on the banana, but if you like bananas, which I do, you'll probably like it. I don't normally like cider, so. And it's spinacopita. The flavor mix isn't what I expected. Maybe banana and spinach doesn't go great together, but still two good options. <laughs> Gonna enjoy that in the AC for a little bit. And my snack and drink were delicious. They ended up going well together. It was just, I think, weird at first having the banana and spinach, but once I got into it, it was really, really nice. Very refreshing, too. So now mask back on. They do have a nice restroom here inside the Showplace Pavilion. They have hand sanitizer and everything that you could need to make your visit to this pavilion comfortable. It's so soothing, whether there's live music or whether they're pumping in the light, like Disney jazz songs. It's just a really, really nice break. I could honestly spend like my whole day in here and I'm sure I will come back on other days and do that. Today though, we're ready to go from the World Show Place back out into the World Show But look at the wind kicking up. Oh, it feels great. It feels like those late summer, just very beginnings of fall Florida days. We're just past the dog days of summer though. Fall really is approaching. Since we're thinking about Epcot opening day and we rode Spaceship Earth, one of the opening day attractions that is left here and still open, Let's go ahead and do another. Air conditioned and still glorious. Another opening day attraction that's still operating is Living With The Land, although it used to be called Listen To The Land. So it has a new name and some other elements of the ride have changed, but it's still there. So that means we definitely have to do it today. The show is right about to start, so we've got to get in that theater. Oh, how I miss the Voices of Liberty, the a cappella singing group that normally performs right under this dome. I hope they come back soon. I love the way the whole building is decorated, and I still love this show, especially the music. Ready for an American adventure. I love this theater and the excitement that builds up before the show. All right, let's pick a seat. Every other row is closed. Let's see, how far back do we want to be? I feel like back here. I'm Franklin, and Jack Ramsey, why American antique? Hope long from the words of Harriet Beecher Stone. Today's for a grand idea. An era for innovation. A dawn for new awareness. A time challenge the frontier to the new century. I foresee the American adventure to continue a long, long time. A wonderful and unique 
unique attraction. Always a pleasure watching this show, seeing the animatronics, hearing the wonderful music, and just enjoying being in this beautiful theater. I love the fact that as you're leaving the show, the lyrics to that theme song are right up above your head to remind you of the meaning of the song. Again, I emphasize one of my favorite parts of this show is the music. It really sticks with you. It's very powerful. It makes the hair on my arms stand up. Also, the old school animatronics are so cool. I love them. Okay, let us continue on our way out into America. First, let's check the weather. What do we have? Fair, rain. One food and wine item I have not tried is here at the Japan Pavilion, and that's the Chirashi Sushi Flower Pot. So let's give that a try. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It comes in a little flower pot. It's got a little leaf in it, and the sushi bowl is the little flower. I found a little nice corner to sit in, in the shade, because it is blasting sun right now just to take a breather and enjoy my little flower sushi pot. If you just saw that sitting there by itself, you'd totally think it was just a little plant. Very, very cute presentation. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. That is a very, very yummy sushi bowl. I'm still getting through it. It looks really small and it is really small. It's like a few bites, but it's a few good hearty bites. It's really, really delicious too. Very well done. There's also a Find Remy scavenger hunt game going on and people keep coming up to this Remy here in the Japan Pavilion and they look like they're having a lot of fun playing. So that's one spoiler for you here in the Japan Pavilion. I won't give away any others, but maybe I'll come back and play it another day. Okay, that was a really, really yummy flower pot. I really liked it and the sauce is what took it to the next level. It wasn't just regular old soy sauce. It was like a delicious tangy sauce. But since we're in the Japan Pavilion, it's been a minute since we've been inside Mitsukoshi, this wonderful, wonderful shop full of wonderful, wonderful things. They have so much cute and unique merchandise in here. I almost always pick something up because there's just so much variety and it's so beautifully merchandised and it's so cool. You can even get a kimono here one day. I would love to try one. And wear it properly, of course. I would definitely need help with that, but they're beautiful. One of my favorite rooms is the incense room because it smells so good. I've purchased quite a bit of incense here. This tends to be my favorite brand because it's very, very light. But my favorite room is the treats and snacks room. Oh, so many yummy and unique items. One day I wanna come in here and just have like a massive feast, trying everything. And a favorite treat of many. And different flavors too. Normally there is someone here and they'll write your name in Japanese and give you a little kid caught fun stop bag. But right now they're help yourself, which is nice because at least they're still doing it. The wind has kept up pretty nicely for most of the day, but so has that heat. No rain though, so I guess my meteorology skills are not on point today. You just never know with Florida. Even if you've lived here your whole life, Right? Looks like I just missed a character cavalcade right over there. Oh, hopefully we'll catch him one of these times. Epcot is such a beautiful park with so many little areas to step to the side and enjoy the beautiful sparkling water, leaves blowing in the wind, the skyliner going by, and so many beautiful little magical moments. 
<laughs> I love when they say hi to you. Starbucks has pumpkin coffee. It is confirmed. I'm gonna get some sort of pumpkin cream cold brew thing because it's way too hot to drink a hot coffee right now. But I'm very excited for pumpkin. Woo! Pumpkin cold brew yumminess. Ooh, I found this lovely spot in the shade right in front of the Imagination Pavilion, right by the water in this sliver of shade where I can take my mask off and enjoy my pumpkin cold brew. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that little ramp is for. Maybe it's for the ducks. It's a duck ramp, I'm convinced. Listen to the land, because it's calling us. It's calling us and it says, come and ride living with the land. We're inside the land pavilion. Both Soren, right over there, and living with the land, right over there, are housed inside this pavilion. Here we go, through the fun house again. They've installed these plastic dividers between the rows. And we've got front row, and I think we're gonna have a boat to ourselves. That's awesome. All of the rain and water elements seem to be working, which is great. It feels so nice in here. And it's so pretty. Good old B. Jones number 82. We hear ya, boy. We hear ya. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. No matter how many times you enter this greenhouse, it's still beautiful. And I love the welcome back sign. They've had it here welcome since the parks reopened. Where scientists and they've still got it for us. Yay! Refreshing and educational. I do not want to disturb the Epcot bunny. Look at those ears. That is a cute little bunnykin. Hi, bunkin. Okay, we go now. We don't bother the bunny. Bye bye. Seeing that sign makes me want to do one more thing before we head out. And it's this way. And no, it's not mission space. No thank you. The wait time's 35 minutes, but Test Track does tend to have a longer wait time than a lot of other attractions. And I can hear it working, so that's a good sign. Let's wait it out a little bit and see how long it takes. This is the room where you would normally design your vehicle, but we're just kind of bypassing that understandably so. No, Test Track is not an opening day attraction. It opened in 1999 and then was changed to its current version in 2012, but it's fun. Normally here you would scan your magic band to input the car that you designed outside, but that's turned off. All right, we've got our own car. Front row. Automated driving technology activated. Welcome to the Sim Track. SimCar performance data acquired. <laughs> Commencing SimCar off-road and extreme weather sequence. <laughs> Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Drive 
commencing responsiveness test. Okay, the responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Woo! Automated <laughs> driving technology verified and active. the final test. Here it comes. Energizing for power test. your performance testing. You'll be able to see how your Chevrolet custom concept vehicle designs compared with the SIM car after you disembark. So that's what that was doing to my hair. It's so <laughs> The whole scanning your magic band here to see the score of your car and all the elements of scoring the different aspects of your car like efficiency and all of that stuff is all turned off right now. The ride is still super fun but there is that one missing element of creating your own car and then seeing how it performs on the sim track. Also the little games and extra interactive elements are roped off and closed off right now. Understandably, but just letting you know so you know. Normally you can also scan your magic band and get your photo taken in here. It's like an automatic photo taken through that box, but that appears to be also turned off right now. It's a fun photo op, so when it comes back, Hopefully, we can get that going again. Oh my gosh, I think these are new Test Track shirts. They're at least new to me. I'm always looking for adult size Test Track shirts in here. They usually have the kid ones, but I have never seen these adult ones. This is so cool. I really like it. I especially like that one. I even remember last time I was in here, I asked if they had any adult size Test Track specific merch, and they didn't. Well, shirts in particular. And look, they've even got a hat. I don't know if the hat was here before, but I've never seen it. This definitely looks like something I would wear. This I really like. I don't know if I'd wear it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. The Ghosts of Fast Pass. Fast. Woo. This era used to sell Coca-Cola drinks, and it had misters that came down and cooled you off, and it's all closed off for now. I'm not sure when it will reopen or if the misters will come back but they sure were refreshing. I'd say that is a successful Epcot day, so that's gonna be a wrap for today. Thank you guys, as always, for joining me. We have a lot of fun coming up, and soon we'll be doing some outside the Theme Park Florida adventures, and if you didn't know, and if you're new to my channel, I have done a ton of off the beaten path, nature, historic sites, and all sorts of cool stuff in Florida and other places that I travel. There's a playlist on my channel, it's called something like Florida outside the theme parks or Florida off the beaten path or something like that. So if you're interested in more of the things to do in Orlando or in Florida in general outside of the theme parks, you can find tons of that on my channel already. And there's so much more that I wanna do. Thank you to everyone who commented on my recent community posts asking for your requests or recommendations of places to visit. I made note of all of those. I do have a huge Google Doc filled with all the places that I want to visit either for the first time or visit again for follow-up videos and visits and I added some new places to that list thanks to you guys. Also haunt season is approaching and this is gonna be a weird one this year but there are some cool events going on and I'll be covering as many of them as I can. They're doing like social distancing, extra safety measures and everything they can do to create a safe and fun Halloween for all of us. So with that I thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, as always, stay cool and stay enthused. Bye!